Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button down below. And right next to it is the bell notification. Hit that because I try to upload videos weekly and you'll be first to be notified through email. If you done, haven't done so already, please visit my website at www.totalhealththepage.com. And if you want to schedule a free 15-minute consultation with me, hit the upper right-hand corner functional medicine button. My time is limited, and if you hit that button, you'll go to my calendar and you can schedule a free 15-minute consultation with me. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. In this short video, I'm going to talk about a B vitamin, and that's vitamin B8, which is called anisotol. Anisotol is phenomenal because it helps with sugar metabolism. It helps how we break down sugars so we get less insulin resistant. So it's very effective for insulin resistance. Now again, this is good for type 2 diabetics, type 1 diabetics, people with metabolic syndrome, or just those people who their diet's out of control or their stress levels are out of control and that that borderline being insulin resistant and the conditions that come from it. So PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOD, which is polycystic ovarian diseases due to the high levels of androgens. Now taking B8 is going to help lower the insulin, which is going to help stabilize the condition of PCOS. It's good for acne. Acne is caused by increased levels of, ins of insulin. It's going to help lower cholesterol because what's going on is that when you insulin has two jobs. One is to escort the sugar into the cell and for storage of fat. And it makes the liver boggy. So again, it's going to decrease the cholesterol. It's good for peripheral neuropathy. Peripheral neuropathy, typically again, the nummies and tingies on the tips of the fingers and the tips of the toes. Because again, you're lowering the insulin. Lower, again, kidney stones. It's good for PMS. It's good for neurotransmitters. It's good for anxiety and depression because the neurotransmitters, dopamine, serotonin, GABA, all that stuff, because if you lower the insulin, in theory, it allows amino acids to get into the cell so they function properly. Now the type I always recommend is IP6, okay, because IP6, very, very high quality. Now when you're lowering that insulin resistance, you're actually going to help with fibroids, because fibroids is cell replication. How do you get cell replication? You increase the sugar, yes, you increase the, the estrogen, in turn you also increase the insulin. So it helps lower the, lower the chances of fibroids, lowers the chances for cancer, it lowers the abnormal cell growth. So this is really, really good to keep your body in good health. Now with PCOS, what's, what causes PCOS? We have hormones in our system called androgens. Those are typically your male hormones. So what happens when a female has increased levels of androgens, this is where she gets the belly fat. This is where she gets the deepening of the voice. This is where she gets the facial hair, okay, due to high levels of insulin. So by taking vitamin B8, it's going to lower the insulin levels. It's going to help stabilize the PCOS. And also, too, dietary changes. No sugar. No gluten, no wheat, no dairy, no soy, no peanuts. Off the bat. So again, doses, how much do you take? The doses vary according to the condition. You can take anywhere, I always recommend anywhere from 200 milligrams to 4,000 milligrams. And you want to take this before breakfast. Now to stabilize PCOS, you need to take 4,000 milligrams daily to help stabilize the PCOS condition. Now what foods contain high levels of B8? Nuts, bell peppers organic eggs, asparagus, grass-fed beef, bananas. They're all high in vitamin B8. All right, so hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Please hit the like button down below. Have a good day. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwad. Hey, it's, over the last couple of years, my YouTube channel has grown tremendously, and I can only appreciate it, the viewers who subscribe. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button to get the first up-to-date videos, or you could always Google my name, Dr. Janan Jawad, and you could go to my JDoc Real Minute page. Again, if you hit the subscribe button, you'll get the most up-to-date videos, and thanks everybody who's watching. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you.